Welcome to Norton Chemistry. Today we're going to be doing some atomic structure and isotopes exam questions. Feel free to go ahead and do the exam questions. I'll put the link in the description and then you can watch the video to go through your answers. A 20 pence coin contains copper and nickel. Copper and nickel each exist as a mixture of isotopes. State the similarities and differences between the atomic structures of isotopes of the same element. So the key information here is the same element and the similarity is that they each have the same number of protons and they each have the same number of electrons and the difference is that they have a different number of neutrons. The copper used to make a batch of coins is analysed by mass spectrometry. The mass spectrum is shown below. So we have two isotopes of copper present in our coins. We've got one with an MZ of 63 and that has an abundance of 69.17% and then the other isotope has an MZ value of 65 and its abundance is 30.83%. So they're asking us to calculate the relative atomic mass of the copper used to make the coins and we need to give it to two decimal places. So the formula is the sum of the abundances multiplied by the MZ values divided by the sum of the abundances. So that gives us 69.17 multiplied by 63 added to 30.83 multiplied by 65 divided by 69.17 added to 30.83. So you need to be careful that you don't just assume that the sum of the abundances is 100 because sometimes they try to catch you out. And that leaves us with 63.61 to two decimal places. One coin has a mass of 5 grams and contains 84% of copper by mass. Calculate the number of copper atoms in one coin. Give your answer in standard form and to three significant figures. So to find the mass of copper in one coin, we need to multiply 5 grams by 84%, which gives us 4.2 grams. And then to find the number of moles of copper in 4.2 grams, we have to do the mass divided by the MR. So that's 4.2 divided by 63.5 grams per mole, which gives us 0 0.0661 moles. Then to find the number of atoms, we have to multiply by Avogadro's constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23, and it can be found on the data sheet. Which gives us 3.98 times 10 to the 22 to three significant figures, and in standard form. So question six, to find the term relative atomic mass. So this is an important definition which comes up often, and the definition of the relative atomic mass is the weighted mean mass of an atom of an element, relative to 1 12th the mass of an atom of carbon 12. Question 7. Nitrogen is the most common gas in the atmosphere. Atoms of nitrogen consist of protons, neutrons and electrons. Complete the table below. So they're asking us for the relative mass, the relative charge and the positioning with, within the atom of each atomic particle. So the relative mass of a proton is 1 and the relative mass of a neutron is 1 and electrons have negligible mass. And then the relative charge of a proton is 1 plus. Neutrons are neutral so they have a relative charge of 0 and electrons have a relative charge of 1 minus. And then protons and neutrons are both located at the nucleus of the atom. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my website where you can purchase A-level chemistry resources including flashcards and notes. The link will be in the description. Be sure to check out my other videos, such as the Atomic Structure and Isotopes Revision video, which should be in the top right hand corner now.